after that, I started inching forward and I saw a car, a truck. I saw a hand come out of the truck and wave me forward. And so I went forward. <laughs> um, and then he came out with a gun. Hey, yo, good morning, low gang. What's poppin'? Ah! So as you guys know, this is Blake. He's the winner of the contest ahead with the Why Don't We Boys for the Something Different music video I directed where you had to follow me on Instagram and how to follow the Why Don't We Boys on Instagram. <gasps> Yo, that was, that was good, bro. If you noticed there, I plugged like three things at once. I guess you could say I was always plugging T-Shirt Tuesday Mike's Web. That is right, guys. The T-Shirt Tuesday merch is always plugged because it is important to always at plug. BKR underscore crew. Yo, that's what I'm saying. <laughs> I mean, if we're doing it, we're doing it. By the time you watch this vlog, to help me help you, music video is coming out tomorrow. And Logan, gang, we gonna get that to the top of the chart. You guys are eating up the merch. Like, literally, this is crazy. Here's a picture of all the merch being shipped out for the last week. That's a lot of things. Basically, there's a lot of good things going on right now, including... Oh, oh, help me, fuck you. <laughs> oh, help me help you, brother. Let's go. You guys can see why it's yellow when the music video comes out, but all you gotta know is it's popping. <laughs> good morning. Huh? What? He's right down here somewhere. Come. Hey, buddy. Oh, hi, puppy. Good morning to you, puppy. <laughs> so, guys, they're definitely bonding. It's definitely some bonding going down. They're not 100% friends yet, but it's gonna happen. I think I'm gonna build a perch that I can attach to Kong. And so Maverick can literally ride Kong. We take it over the, the internet. Attempted bonding session number one. Didn't work. Attempted bonding session number two. Hi, puppy. I know. I see you. Do you see Maverick, though? That's what I want you to see. The problem is Maverick is timid, which is weird to me. You guys know Maverick. He's an aggressive bird, but why is he afraid of Kong? I've seen him attack big dogs. Guys, we are a team. We all have to work together, okay? Oh, look it. No, this is good. Uh, Maverick's gone. Slowly but surely, Maverick, I will train you. And you, buddy, you gotta stop being so aggressive. <laughs> so we are about to get the day started. <laughs> oh, big stretch for the puppy. What are we doing first, Blake? I also noticed, bro, you got long arms, Blake. Oh. Yo, you have such long arms, you too, little doggy. He's like, look at my arms, look at Yo, real talk, though, I want to measure those at one point okay. in the day. Dude. One Kong, two Kong, <laughs> Your arm is three Kongs long, bro. We got to do something about this. Guys, my house is an absolute wreck right now. Like, literally, I'm so stressed. But we got the maids coming. We about to clean some box. What the f*** are you doing, bro? The maids are coming, bro. Oh, you're right, bro. So we cleaned up the space, but I'm not gonna lie. We kind of just relocated everything. <laughs> oh no, bro We can't even get out of my house. I'll get it later. Anyways, let's talk about this Kira! Oh, bro. Yeah. Oh. Tell me what that is. I see you rope, bro. All right guys I literally bought 800 feet of rope in these two boxes the problem is I saw this pillar bro And I'm like yo, how cool would it be if we wrapped rope around it 800 feet worth? Okay, I did the calculations. Okay. Let's do this. Yeah! Wait, what about me, bro? Go, 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 go. What the f I'm just gonna ignore the fact that Jeff ignored me. Oh my god, yo, this is so much rope, guys. Look, I'm a rope kind of sewer, but I've never had this much rope. Okay, Blake, what is the most important part about a good friendship? Solid foundation, bro. Solid foundation, exactly! So, we have to make sure the rope sticks to the bottom of this pillar. I got this heavy duty glue here. I'm gonna be honest, I've never done this in my life. I don't know if it's gonna work, so here we go. Dude, I don't even know if I'm doing this right, bro. This cock is whack, bro. That's what she said! <laughs> Think about unscrewing this. Clearly not, because you're doing it right now. Jeff, I'm not an adult, okay? This is why I have you in my but if you look down the barrel gun, tell me what you see in there. What's there? Cop. <laughs> oh, look, these ones look screwed. Oh. Uh. Oh! See that, kids? Okay, we gotta figure it out. Eight hours later. Boom! Oh! Oh, look at that. Look at that, kids. This is me adulting and making stuff out of my life. Hey, Jeff, can you do me a favor? Grab me a paper towel, bro. I need a paper towel ASAP, bro. Here, it's here. But can you stop for a second, please? No, Jeff, this I already started. Actually, no, no, it's Jeff, it's too late. No. I'm sorry, Jeff. This was the worst time to tell me whatever you need to tell me. How do you know that this can be removed? I can't. I don't know that. You don't own this place, Logan. This is true. This is why I have you in my life, bro, to make sure I don't make dumb decisions like this. Well, then stop. Well, you're a little too late, bro. No. We, I'm already. No, 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 that's not yo, true. I'm already. I'm Jeff, I can't stop, dude. If I could stop, I would. Once you do that, you bottom one, can you stop? Jeff, I've lost the function of my hands, Jeff. If I could stop, I would. No, you're going to stop. Jeff, if I could stop, I would. I literally don't know what just happened. I blacked out, Jeff. Stop for a second. I'm looking at what you're doing now and realizing, had I not even been here, it would be already done. And that would be even worse. 
We are four layers in. We realize this is hard as shit. Oh, uh, it's just, it's all tangled up and it's ropey. Guys, uh, learn from us. But we're gonna keep going because we're Mavericks. Let's go. We have made no progress. The tangle is so bad, guys. I'm sweating my face off. This is bad. How did you do this? Bro, I don't know. Why didn't you say something? I tried. <laughs> Son of a bitch! All right, we have to cut this rope. And here's the thing. This knife is not sharp enough to do this. Uh, it's gonna look all frayed and all bullshit. Made some progress. Yo, you know what I like about you? What? You know how to work hard, bro. Yeah. Seriously, so important. Wow. Damn, it looks good. Guys, we only have a little bit more to go. Back to the nightmare rope. But I'm so glad. Admit it's worth it, bro. So worth it. Like, this is amazing. Oh. Ah, guys, my figures are killing me. We are almost at the top. And my boy, we have hit the tangle. <laughs> Yo, this sucks, bro. Why? Life, bro. Life, what you doing, cuz? While we are struggling here, you guys know I drink a lot of water. My boy Billy hooked it up, bro. I told him to bring as many waters as he could. I thought he was gonna bring like a casual, like two Whoa. or three. My bro, <laughs> holy shit, we are set for life. I feel like today is just a day of mass quantity things. Like we just have a lot of everything, bro. Especially heart and soul, yeah. <laughs> Guys, legit, I have never felt this type of satisfaction. <laughs> That's when that one girl did that one thing in high school. I'm just kidding. I'm a virgin. And it looks so good right now. You guys know what else looks good? Ayla! Stop, stop, stop. Dad! Can I pick you up? Oh, Yo, guys, she's off the floor. We got 411 Ayla. Yo, wait, wait a second. So, T-shirt Tuesday was yesterday. Anyways. Oh! oh. Oh, yo, wait, we'll always plug, but wait a second. Oh! Double always plug! Yo, wait, let me set you down real quick. I don't want to, but to show off the hoodie. Ayla, hey, you look delicious. I just, I want to put you on a pork and eat you. Okay, well, let's not. No, 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 no. I'm about to do the ultimate plug right now. Like, legit, guys, this is, this is big. I don't know if it's the right time to do it, but Ayla's here. I'm going to do it. Follow me, Ayla. This You're not, is like, big. doing a prank, right? I'm doing it. It's like Yo, a, where's Maverick? Oh, yo, he's actually right there. <laughs> Yo, he's right there. Yo, but you're fine, but you're fine. Back pedal, back pedal. Alright, alright. Alright, guys, Low Gang does not even know about this. You guys? Okay, Ayla, look. No, Maverick, stop. Go, yo. You got me a closet! No, I, no, I didn't. Yo, guys, look. This is Maverick merch on T-Shirt Tuesdays for years. We got the Always Plug section because Always Plug like I'm doing right now. We got the Low Gang section, we got the tanks, we got the tees, we got the hoodies, we got the Maverick logo section. Let's go, cuz! What? I just no, 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 that's no, no, not beast mode. Oh, yeah, you didn't see that, guys. You did not see that. I just woke up in beast mode. No, you didn't. You're yeah, you're four eleven foot girl. Oh, get out. So, no, no so, get out. Get it. No, you're not. Yeah. <laughs> the real reason I'm in here. The real plug. The real drop. Ayla, look in that corner. No down, boy. I I literally wasn't planning on doing this today. Yeah. Yeah. You got, you got I mean, look, look, it's not it's not all for you, but what? I'm dropping woman's Maverick merch right now. She'll be coming around the mountain. Yo, you got the stuff. You got that good, good. Yo, it's fire! Wait, wait, question, question. Yeah. Should we, can we do like a little like modeling thing? Like, could you be my oh, model? Way ahead of you. Way ahead of you. Come action. Mark. Logan! Ayla! Ayla! Mark! Oh. Oh. You were here last night? Look over your right shoulder. What? Oh! Yeah, bro! Oh. Feel it, bro! Yeah, bro! It's lit, right? You guys did this? Yeah, bro. It looks like it professionally was done. Well, yeah, well, you might say I'm a professional, bro. How's it sticking? That's the question. Yeah, I don't really f know. Can I tell you something? I need one of these shirts. I got you one. Yeah! <laughs> Always plug, dude. Can Is I tell you something XXL? else? Can I tell you something else? You love me? Look down, bro. Maverick merch for women. <laughs> Plug in the beautiful Maverick merch for females. Anyways, dude. Is this I, the first set of it? Yeah, bro. Like, I just did it. I wasn't I wasn't planning on it, but like I'm feeling it and no, we uh, just modeled it. And outside. we modeled it and now we're out here, bro. And I guess what guys? Follow me at Mark Donor. Always plug. Yo, see? Yo, wait! Yo, yo, go. Follow me at Ayla Woodruff, always plug. Wait, is it just at Ayla Woodruff? It's at Ayla Woodruff right now, yeah. There's no underscore? I thought there was oh, no underscore. Oh, there is underscore. Oh, yo, what the <laughs> yo, 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 what's your Instagram? <laughs> she doesn't have an Instagram! <laughs> Kong, what's your Instagram? I'll just tell you, it's at Kong the Savage. He got half a million followers in seven days. He's pretty impressive. <laughs> The tone of the vlog is about to change, like drastically. This man, Blake, 
BKR, BKR. as a very, very interesting story. I, like, I'm, I know I'm gonna get emotional hearing it, and uh, uh, Logang, this guy's a legend. He seriously has an incredible story to tell, and I wanted to share it with you guys. I feel like this is a life treat that I have him here. So sit back, relax, and get ready to be floored by this guy's story. <laughs> We're awkwardly close. Alright, <laughs> alright, here's, here's, here's this, uh, yeah, yeah, slate. Okay, yeah, I love comedy. Anyways, <laughs> guys, I'm still here. They were doing the shooting, it's like 60 minutes out here. You lean in this way. Like, we're, we're, we're right next to each other. Like, our knees are almost touching because we want to make this dramatic. But, okay, all right, serious, go! <sighs> Literally, don't even know how to start this. But you have been held hostage. Yeah, I was held hostage last, it's almost coming up on a year actually, this wasn't that long ago at all. Um, Yo, yeah, it hasn't even been a year? No, it's coming up on a year. Being held hostage is not like a thing that happens ever to yeah. anyone. That's like being struck by lightning. I legit wanted to buy a lottery ticket the day after, bro. I'm not gonna lie, because the odds of that happening to someone were so drastically out there, and that it happened to me. Kind of look at it as a bad and a good thing. All right, here's what I want to do. Here's why I'm intrigued, bro. To me, this is a fucking miracle. I cannot believe you are in my house right now. Like, like you shouldn't be here, bro. Tell, tell me what happened. So basically, I had just turned 21, kind of. Um, so what I did was. I had foot surgery, this was like my six foot surgery at the time, and I couldn't do anything really, and I live in Aspen, Colorado at least right now. So I decided, hey, since I can't do anything with like this lay cast on my foot, I'm gonna go drive up to somewhere beautiful and shoot photos, you know? By yourself? By myself. Just yeah. trying to create some Just stuff. Just trying to create some stuff, exactly. And this place is out of cell service, and I don't know, I'm just that kind of adventurous type. Yeah. We try to be. Yeah, exactly. Um, there was this popular campground or place to shoot from what I heard with a lake and all that that I'd never been to. So I pull up to the bridge um, to get to this place off the main road there and I saw bear warning signs and all this and I was like, oh, maybe if I go past these signs or whatever, if I stay in the car, a bear can't kill me, you know? But legit, that was the least of my worries, obviously. I come up on this truck facing one way and this other car, they're basically parallel. And I saw these two kids or guys with their hands on top of their head. And like this? Like Yeah, like that. You see two guys st yeah. standing like this? Yeah, I saw two guys standing like this, exactly. Um, after that, I started inching forward and I saw a car, that truck, I saw a hand come out of the truck and wave me forward. And so I went forward. <laughs> um, and then he came out with a gun. We weren't that far, like maybe 50 feet away from each other or something. Yeah. And I thought maybe, okay, maybe I have a few grand worth of camera equipment in my car. I have, you know, I have my wallet that's not filled with much. You thought like, he was just gonna yeah, rob me. Yeah, legit thought he was gonna rob me. Like, it's like, okay, this is the first of the first for me. I can get through this, but no, I, it wasn't that at all. He had no intention of robbing you. He had no intention of robbing me at all. His intentions were solely there to kill me. This guy who you don't even know, he doesn't even know you wanted to end your life. Yeah. And he almost did. What, so what happened? I pull up, he pulls a gun on me. These two kids eventually get away. So how'd they get away? They were distracted or something? Or he was yeah, so there was another car pulling up, so he started pointing the gun at them. And then I kind of got the hint that they were probably going to run. And if I had the opportunity, I 100% would have took the chance to run. But, but your foot is broken. Yeah, and it wasn't it wasn't there. Um, so when they ran, that was kind of like it for me. I was like, yo, that was the only opportunity I had. There's no cell service here. There's no one here. This guy clearly wants to 
kill someone today. Like this is maybe this is his way to. You're the only one left. I'm the only one left. With a broken foot. With a broken foot. What's going through your mind? That I didn't get to do what I wanted to do at the end of my life. That my family, I didn't get to say bye to them. I didn't get to basically live the life I wanted to live, bro. And I just 100% wasn't ready to die. When you're in that kind of situation, it's hard to really put into words. And you think your life flashes ahead of you and all that, like they do in the movies and all that. But mm -hmm. to be honest with you, it doesn't. It, it, I felt empty. Bro, that's what I'm saying. You guys, this does not happen in real life. Like, the, like it's a miracle, bro. Like, and, and people either A, aren't ready for it, B, or think it'll never happen. But this, this happened to you and it's possible, man. And it's the craziest shit. People don't understand and the closest they will ever understand that happening god forbid that never happens to anyone you know or you but you are a living walking miracle bro and this this feeling and this energy people are never going to experience at some point two cops showed up and they tried to negotiate with him and I was kind of the middleman. Were they yelling at him from a distance? Yeah. I'm like, yo, if this, now at this point, at least if he shoots me, at least they can take him out and prevent him from hurting someone else. Yeah. But at the same time, I wasn't ready to give up. Yeah. I was never that kind of guy. So I started reading him and I started like analyzing his movements, seeing if he's tired or whatnot. You know, this, this guy's crazy. He's obviously willing to die and wanting to die and the cops offered him what he wanted. He was asking for a million dollars, he was asking for all this stuff. What I got from him was he doesn't want that. He like was there to kill someone that day. So how did you end up escaping, bro? How are you here in my rundown apartment right now? <laughs> At that moment, I had regretted so much. I knew I wasn't happy. I even, wasn't, even only at 21 years old? Even at 21 years old, I knew there was so much more I wanted to do. I had so much regret, so much want, and so much need from in my lifetime. It's like something came over me where I wasn't going to die that day. I wasn't going to let this guy take it away from me. I had to do something about it. And at one point, he opened the rear driver's side door and kind of just sat a little bit into it and I saw him getting paranoid and looking around like checking for snipers and stuff like that and at one moment still this close from each other he backed up and looked away towards the street and then all of a sudden I was like I was like <laughs> and so I kind of like ducked behind the truck bed right there and just waiting for bullets to fly and I just heard screaming and yelling and swearing and all this stuff. And I knew I had to run up this dirt road and make it to the cops. And so I just started, well, I wasn't running. I was kind of like, you know, hopping with Hopper, my cats yeah. or whatever. When I got to those cops and got to everyone at the top of that road and saw him get escorted to the car out, I didn't believe I was there. I still thought I was dead. You should have been dead. Because I should have been dead, exactly. You made it. Yeah. Made it. Like, bro, why? Why you? Why should that ever happen to anybody? Why you? I believe it happened to me because I have this want and need in the world to inspire and change people's life, kind of like how you're trying to change people's life with Maverick. And I always wanted to do something like that. Mm -hmm. So then I started my own thing out of it. That's BKR? Yeah, this is BKR. What does it stand for? It stands for Big Kids Rule. Yeah. We can live our lives being ourselves and doing what you want to do. Yeah. I truly believe, just like being a maverick, that you can accomplish anything you want in life. True. 
and you will go down wherever that day comes, I believe you'll have a smile on your face. Because you're not living for anyone else but, you know, but yourself. You have lived it and can verify it to the greatest degree that this is how you need to live. 100%. You got one life in this fucking floating rock in the middle yeah. of space, bro. One life. One life. Thanks, Luke. All right, yo. This is Matt Hoodie. All right. Um, listen, I understand me giving this to you it means absolutely nothing. This is like not like, you don't need to hold it up, bro. You don't always plug, but you don't need to hold it up, bro. <laughs> I want you to have this because I'm honored that you have this. Like, bro, I'm getting teary-eyed. Like, you are the epitome of what it means to be a maverick, to be a big kid, and like, I, I, I need you to have that. You don't, like, don't, don't even have to wear it, but just have it. <laughs> just have it. That was deep, dude. Yeah. That was deep. So what's your channel, bro? The, uh, the Logan wants to subscribe. My channel is simple if you want to do it. It is BKR Vlogs. V-L-O-G-S. YouTube.com slash BKR Vlogs. And I'm basically just going to be doing what you just heard. I'm going to be living my life and just trying to bring it all up to the next level. Just like being a Maverick baby. Yeah, let's go. <laughs> all right, guys. The link is in the description. Bit of a different vlog today, but it felt like it was important. Tomorrow, we are hanging out with the uh, Why Don't We Boys. We're going to yeah. go mess around and do some fun stuff. And then Help Me Help You comes out the next day. So, all right, guys. Hey, guys. Future Logan and Blake here. I forgot to mention. It's kind of a big deal. Woman's Maverick merch is now available. The link is in the description. So, yeah. Anyway, the past Logan. Take it away. I freaking love you. Logan for life. Uh, don't forget to subscribe if you're not subscribed. And I will see you tomorrow. Bro, take it easy, fam. That's your bitch.